has and Meg never hand money back to Spotify. Sussexes were accused of hiding behind one podcast excuses. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been accused of hiding behind excuses for why they have only released one podcast with Spotify, a royal commentator has claimed. Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan Markle, 40, have been expressing concerns to Spotify about COVID-19 misinformation but say they will continue to work with the platform. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex signed a lucrative deal with the streaming giant to host and produce podcasts, estimated to be worth around 25 million US dollars, 18 million pounds, in late 2020. The Mail on Sunday's Charlotte Griffiths has since claimed the royals have no plans on returning their money. Speaking to Palace Confidential on Mail Plus, Ms Griffiths said, I don't think they'll ever hand the money back but I do think they can sort of hide behind this because it's been a good year or so since they actually released a podcast. Archie spoke his first words on their last podcast so that shows how long ago it was. I think if there have been delays behind the scenes, they can slightly hide behind this and use it as an excuse for another delay. I don't think they'll be handing the money back, I think they'll be hiding behind this for a few more months. It comes after a number of artists ditched the platform due to controversial content such as the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, which has been known to air vaccine skeptical views. An Archul spokesperson said the couple are committed to continuing their work with the streaming platform. Hundreds of millions of people are affected by the serious harms of rampant mis- and disinformation every day, the spokesperson said. Last April, our co-founders began expressing concerns to our partners at Spotify about the all-too-real consequences of COVID-19 misinformation on its platform. We have continued to express our concerns to Spotify to ensure changes to its platform are made to help address this public health crisis. We look to Spotify to meet this moment and are committed to continuing our work together as it does. It comes after Joni Mitchell announced on Saturday that she would remove her catalogue from Spotify in solidarity with Neil Young. Young's music is being taken down from the platform after he reportedly offered it an ultimatum to remove either his work or the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Following Young's reported concerns, Spotify said it aimed to balance both safety for listeners and freedom for creators and had removed more than 20,000 podcast episodes related to COVID since the start of the pandemic. It acquired the Joe Rogan Experience podcast in 2020, reportedly for more than $100 million. In the aftermath of their high-profile departure from the British royal family in early 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex relocated to California and signed a series of big-ticket media content deals. But almost two years after the move there is growing pressure on the couple to deliver on those promises. At first glance, the couple's gilt-edged balance sheet has a handful of interesting crumbs scattered across it, representation from the Harry Walker Agency with a view to future paid speech-making, a narration gig for Meghan on the Disney documentary Elephant, and a series on mental health from Harry for Apple's television service, Apple TV+. Apple's television.